This is a Danger Entertainment podcast. DangerEntertainment.net. Danger Entertainment Network podcasts. Uh, oh, hey, 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 Colin. Hey, man. We have not said hello to the Dangerlings in a while. Do you know what? You're right. Hey, Dangerlings, this is Colin Hubbard. Uh, I play, well, I used to play MZ, and then I played this other guy called Ed Johnson for a little while. And now I play Bubba Von Hoops in the Danger Club podcast. Thank you for listening. If you are enjoying this podcast, go to uh, iTunes, give us a review, go on Facebook, drop us a little message, go on the Discord, get on the Discord. If you're not on the Discord yet, get on the Discord. We'll talk to you. Other Dangerlings can talk to you. There's loads of groups in there. We've got a Tumblr if you're interested in that. You've got, you know, Instagram. Do us a little bit of, you know, art or whatever. Just whatever you want to do, mate. Do you know what I mean? Um, I've been Colin. You've been the Dangerlings. Previously on the Danger Club podcast. I've got transcription duties for you. What were you doing down there? We had to dump a body. Which body? A bird. A what? He is fast asleep. And is he wearing any keys? You lift the keys silently from his belt. He was not the biggest fan of Rasmus, this artist. And then he was killed. This is a killed badge. So they would have been looking for him. They'd also have leverage in the city. You see an emblem of the city watch. It's Rasmir is silver, but as long as you don't go flashing it around... Just keep it quiet. The adventure continues now. Hello, everyone. No. Hello, everyone. God. Hello, everyone. Every low hell on. Hello everyone and welcome to the Danger Club podcast. I didn't get to do one. Oh, go on then. No, 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 forget it. Yeah. <laughs> it's done now. It's done. Yeah, Hello everyone. Yeah. I tip my my beard is driving me crazy at the moment. I had to grow my beard out for a, a job. Do you know what? I, t- oh, um, I, I noticed this at the beginning of the last call. Sorry to cut you off. But... Oh, I grow my beard. <laughs> Literally everyone around this I do table. Do sound like that? <laughs> everyone around this table apart from me has a beard. We're all very beardy at the moment. It's beardy. Winter. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, I'm I, I'm growing mine because I, I need it for a, for a job. But it is like it's got to that point where it's like actor in between movies beard. You know, it's that kind of like when Chris Evans doesn't need to look handsome for a thing, and he's just like caveman beard. Yeah. And it's that kind of like oh, it's big. I don't like it. It means I can twirl my. I've been doing a lot of mustache twirling yeah, been while doing uh, a lot of mustache while things. describing things. That's quite nice. Good Chris DM Evans point. is so handsome. With Isn't beard. he? He's such a good looking guy. He looks better with a beard. Yeah, I like him with a beard. How do you talking? like your I'm Chris with Evans? With all of that. Tap behind. <laughs> Are we talking Chris Evans, the Radio 2 Dowdy <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget your toothbrush. Don't forget your toothbrush, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 TFI Friday. T- uh, t- yeah, t- the first episode of TFI Friday was filmed uh, round the corner from where I live. In, really? Well, yeah. back, in my, back in my hometown in the Midlands somewhere. Mm. Wow. Nice. Uh, I always assumed it was Londinium. My hometown or TFI no, Friday? No, no, where it's filmed. <laughs> Where it's filmed, yeah, no, they went, they did like a tour of like really random places when, it, when the show was new, and what the randomest was, yeah, not my hometown, which is not nothing to speak of, really. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. <laughs> what, this is was all right. Brilliant. This is all right. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Well, you have got so Fuck harsh you, over the over your, the months of your, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like in the beginning, we could talk about anything, Jesus. and we're like, yeah, gold dust. That was gold dust, and now you're just like. <laughs> He's, he's got not cynical. Radio 4, he's got is he? cynical. He is got in his cynical. old age. He has, because his stuff. character's 13 now. He's really getting <laughs> yeah, old. Yeah, right. He's getting old. I've got to say, he's a teenager, um, Colin. Where we're recording in uh, Danger Towers, where we always are. Sorry, team. It actually was quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we're recording in Danger Towers um, that, that one of my housemates has left a chair outside in the hall and I asked if I could use it. And it's one of those chairs that originally I thought, hey, look, that'd be a great DM chair. It's a bit of a wing back <laughs> thing going on. It looks very comfortable. I've now realised it's one of those chairs you find in old people's homes we yeah. did this we did this and in the last episode but, uh, but the more the, the more recording have you noticed that now Dan's put his cardigan on <laughs> oh I see yeah no, <laughs> now, right. I think by the end he's literally going to have aged about sort of 35 years also, and he's got he's, his beard his he beard's grown out he's yeah, definitely yeah. lower down now than he used he's to be he's definitely lower well. down he'll be like he'll down be like, and oh, just sink into the chair he'll be referencing things from like episode 20 <laughs> and, and <laughs> thinking it's current and we're like what what are you out there will you oh, leave whoa, that whoa the lamp's going towards the lamp will you stop touching the lamp don't reach the lamp, no, motherfucker. You horrible moth of a man. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> New t-shirt. <laughs> let's have an adventure. Ooh, let's. Come on. Oh, we are yeah, uh, still in the uh, Temple of Rasmia, although maybe not for very long. So we found out a few exciting new clues. You've been doing uh, a bit of your investigating while, uh, while Bubba some and... Some uh, sleuthing. Yeah, Bubba and Velda having some, some bonding time. Oh, that's nice. So this is what happens <laughs> in life. Nerds, you help out a jock with their homework, hoping they'll be mates, and it's just like, <laughs> oh yeah, thanks. So I love Skip that forgotten. Bubba's become the jock of the party. That's <laughs> he's hilarious. pretty jock, yeah. mate. He's pretty like, he's pretty wee, we have a white boy, isn't he? He's a bit wee. He, he had no problem making friends at school. school. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. I'm, I'm interested in this because we've got, we've got this, it's becoming this weird like school dynamic here where you have got, you guys are like the kids and the, um, and, and Garthus and Heralds are like the teachers running this school and some of you are becoming the troublemakers and some of you are becoming teachers' pets and then yeah. like, you've got like Bubba who thinks he's their mate and is acting like it but they keep scowling at. You've got like, <laughs> you've got Caragor who is becoming like the, pre- the head prefect uh, of, uh, of the Temple of Rasmia to the point that some of the teachers are resenting him. Like So so what you're saying is that effectively we're now in Safe by the Bell. <laughs> <laughs> would that make would that make Bubba screech? Who do you reckon was the uh, who do you reckon was the Danny Carragher around this table at their school? Who was the uh, who was the star pupil? Oh not definitely me. not me. Not uh, me. Is it me, yeah. mate? <clears throat> I, Dan. I would was, yeah, he, this was, is a yeah, leading question. No, 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 no. Well, it happens that... Uh, it's, oh, definitely, actually, it's definitely not me. It's definitely James. I reckon no, it's, yeah. no, it wasn't. No? No, no, it's, no, no. It's, it's one of you two. It's definitely not anyone. Yeah, I was, I far, too, yeah, I was yeah. far too uh, just unrelentingly geeky and eccentric and, and left field to be a head boy prefect type. I, I, was, I was hanging uh, around my four mates talking... I was deputy head of my house. Oh! Oh, it's drama. Yes, right. Under the radar. And you went to, you went to, like, boarding school... I went to school. a military you went, school. You went to you went to Eaton, wasn't it? it was no, the, uh, you're in that that photo of the Bullingdon Club with, um, with David he, Cameron and Boris Johnson. I mean, you're just there in the. <laughs> I mean, well, I don't know that he was second on the pig, but like, nobody ever remembers that because it was all no, no, like I, I, ah. I just did the chicken. I was strictly chicken. No red meat and the turkey at Christmas and the turkey at Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> gobble gobble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it turns out. How did that leave there? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so you were like, so you were Merry pre- Christmas, everybody. Oh, you no, were wait. house prefect. I was, yeah, I was, I was, I was deputy head of our house. Yeah. The, uh, I mean, we, we deputy rec- head. Yeah, I, w- I wasn't allowed to be the head of the house. Now that's uh, way so. cooler than being a prefect. You get a little badge. You get a shotgun. You yeah, know, you I, well, I got the coolest. I got the coolest room in the place, um, and and you know, got to be in charge of stuff without having any responsibility. It was pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> I. Um, I, I, I didn't get made drama prefect at my school, despite the fact I ran the, the drama club for all the lower years. I, I ran <gasps> and did all the tech. Uh, but uh, no, Greg Alders got made drama prefect because he played Bill Sykes yeah, in the school play of Oliver, and uh, the head thought he was very good in it, so he got made prefect. So I made myself a prefect badge that said <laughs> People's Prefect <laughs> and wore that. <laughs> if you became the drama prefect, though, do you get like a dramatic cape? Oh, yeah, I don't make. I, I just. <laughs> I was already wearing scarves and like I remember we recently ticked over in the podcast um, to a point where we have slightly more American listeners than we have UK listeners we're getting more and more really? American listeners oh, so they are America. And I imagine you guys are going to love the fact that our school system is as much like Harry Potter as you would imagine it is <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, it, was all, it was all staircases you've no idea how they're still held up just for just for balance there I'm pretty sure I don't know about the rest of you but I'm pretty sure I mean no, exactly mine and Ross's was not anything like that it was <laughs> definitely it, not there was no capes and red brick walls nope. there was nope. pink custard and turkey twizzlers if you were lucky yep. right <laughs> one pound burgers oh god mate we i didn't know what a house was until later on in my life you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> i was like, literally grew up in a hedge I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah right the houses at schools they were just like oh yeah so what house were you in i was like what the fuck are you talking about seriously like uh had no idea about prefect system we didn't have that in our school we just had like you know uh, yeah, kids just, that beat up other kids that's yeah. it that's yeah. what we had we had a hierarchy of it was like a prison uh, I, 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 uh, <laughs> no I've never been to prison so I can't say that I have a vague uh, memory of that like because I, I was I was at a I was at a, what you would consider a normal school before I got sent away to the military school oh yeah uh, yeah um, so so I like 
I remember that because um, I got a lot of beatdowns and got in with a, with a bad crowd, and that was yeah. why I got sent away to military school. Yeah. It's wow. like Bill and Ted. They were going to get sent away yeah. to military school, yeah. True, only, yeah. Only that you didn't go back in time and find out to call people to stop that happening. Uh, you just went to military school. Which is why I play these games. <laughs> yeah. But you've... I think you found your bill of Ted's. I was like super, I was super nerdy, like good kid until I hit about 17 and discovered comedy um, and discovered that I could, I could make jokes. And then I was a nightmare. Um, I, I ran our, in my last year, I ran our house sports day team. Um, for that. I'd spent the whole, my whole time there not in getting involved in the sport, in like big sporting events. I made an entire documentary one year about Sports Day, so that I didn't have to participate in Sports Day. Uh, <laughs> we didn't even we didn't even edit it. We just went around and just filmed fake interviews with people to avoid having to do it. And then one in my final year, I got myself made head of the team um, because the other person didn't want to do it. So I sort of was like, oh, I'll do it. I'll, I'll. So I was responsible of organising our entire team. Uh, and this is like a quarter of the school. This is like the four, like there's the Slytherin and Hufflepuff. This is like the whole Hufflepuff team um, for the, all of the years participating. So I submitted all the team sheets for it and they didn't realise until they had all of the teams gathered out and they were calling names up that I had in fact submitted a list of the real names of professional wrestlers. Um, <laughs> and a quarter of the school were not at this uh, sporting event. And there was a teacher just standing out asking where Kevin Nash was. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> like, Dwayne Johnson? Uh, I was, yeah, I, I had to climb over the fence to escape that one. Um, so let's see if you guys have to climb over a fence. When you I climbed over the fence, nice. got hit the face of the chair and got wait, put back wait, in. Wait, wait, wait. Like a, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Was, was yeah. that sort of like... I don't know. Was that an expression for something else? Expression for. Well, it sounds like it's a, and then I had to climb over the fence. For no, that I one. literally, right, fellas, right? Am I right? No, I literally <laughs> climbed over the fence. You with literally climbed over the fence. Right, chasing okay. me. <laughs> <laughs> and now I make podcasts. So clearly, he that uh, right. he never returned to school after that day um, <laughs> or home. It's actually quite a heartbreaker. Um, so let's see how things go for you guys. Uh, let's see if you you managed to get your sports day teams to get this analogy is falling apart. Let's just play Pathfinder. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> um, so you found out a few interesting things. You found out a few uh, little tidbits of information. Do we feel like we've got enough information to go to the city watch yet, or to we still getting a bit more? You still um, been mean, yet? I'd say if we were at percentile, it I'd say we we're at seventy five percent. We're not quite there. We've got a substantial body, but I don't think it's quite enough. Then about you guys? Yeah. I'm concerned that a lot of the evidence that we found can be easily explained or swept aside. So yeah. we'd be like, yeah, it was a, no, an artist died and this and that. And they'd be like, no, it's quite deniable. Mm. At the moment. Quite deniable. What do you guys think? Yeah, no, I think, I think we need to uh, make use of the keys. I think that's. I think the. I think the artist thing is getting to the point where it's not deniable anymore. Someone called. Someone with that name did go missing. The remnants of them are here, and they were known to. We can. We can prove how they were disliked by the church. But I'm just not sure that just the artist guild by itself is enough weight to bring down the church of Razmaran, especially because they're buying off the city watch. I think that's our next target. Mm. Is that link in order to really solidify it? But. Apparently, you're going to be leaving the temple. Um, yeah, instead oh, of going yeah. training in the yard, they've got a job for you outside. What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's find out. Flagellants on tour. <laughs> We're just going to go and beat yourselves in the street uh, for everyone to see. Um, I'm sure Krant would like that, but Krant is rapidly losing favour in the temple since you guys arrived. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, no sympathy for him, but let's find out what happens with you. So we jump right back into the temple of Razmir. Uh, Engarthis has just told you that you will be leaving um, the temple. Um, so you're all stood around. You've just been for your morning prayers. Um, Velda and uh, Jimmy Two Beaks, but, aka Bubba, um, are both very, very tired uh, from having been up all night transcribing. Um, Engarthis stands aside and a, uh, another herald. Uh, so you've got to feel now. Heralds are the ones in the black robes. Same, they've all got the same mask, but heralds are, you know, there are four of them, um, and Garthus seems to be the leader of them. But you know, the priests that we saw when we were looking in the worship hall, mm -hmm. the paintings, the murals. What color robes did they have? Uh, what in in the um, the ones that are watching us silent? The the oh, they had grey, so they're priests, so they're more senior than you, but less senior than the heralds. Mm. You don't, re you've never actually seen the heralds do any work. You see them, you see them preach. 
they do a lot of talking but you've never seen them actually they don't seem to get involved in any of the labor most of the labor is done by the acolytes so your level um and some of it is by priests there seems to be a very definite like hierarchy of kind of once you go up a couple of steps you get the people below you to do your work for you um again a lot like my school (laughs) (laughs) yeah um so uh, he steps aside so the other herald um steps forward um and garth says uh this is this is brother xanathar brother xanathar is going to be leading the uh the sermon outside today and uh we want you to uh help him out as much as you can i trust that you'll be able to uh Show some of the good to the people of uh, Tamron. Are we giving out bread? Something like that. He it's nods brother. and uh, and go and leaves you um, with uh, Brother Xanathar. Brother Xanathar says, "New recruits, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm very glad that you can help with spreading the good word." Yeah, we are very happy to help. Where are we spreading it to today? We're going outside the main gates. When we're outside there, I'm going to make a speech to all the people that are gathered. And I need you to move around the edges of the crowd. And I need you to hold, draw their attention while, uh, while we move among them and discuss the benefits of Razmir. What do you mean by draws the attention away from what? I don't care how you do it. Just do something freaky or do something. <laughs> <laughs> Just make a scene. In what some does he kind. look like? Okay, Bowie. I mean, he brother. looks like a guy in black wearing a mask. <laughs> ah, okay. For copyright reasons, it will probably not be removed. <laughs> I have no idea what he looks like. It's kind of thin. Think you could do that? I mean, yeah, we can always uh, create um, distractions. You know, um, I just what, what are we distracting from? What's the purpose of our, our work? Oh, we just uh, just want people to pay attention to us. But if we're distracting them, then, then we, they will not be paying attention. No, I'm because confused. people on Sorry. the edge of the crowd, they won't hear what I've got to say. So we want you to uh, make a speech or something for them. Oh, so we walk around the edge and the people at the edge won't be able to hear you, so we have to kind of echo what you're doing sure, to the why edges. Not? Yeah, just keep their attention. I think I, th- I think uh, Wait, I'm confused. Raya, we just draw attention to uh to brother Xanathar over here. Yeah, we just hey. kinda oh. like talk to people and just go, Oh, listen to this geezer is the way. He's really Oh okay, clever. so go like, hey, it's this guy he's speaking truth. Yeah now you're getting it. Okay. <laughs> you know, or just anything you like. Just keep people interested. Yes, in brother. me or in you. All right, brother. Yeah. All right, team. Let's go get freaky. <laughs> 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 you see, like a bunch of other priests just kind of looking at him, like they're just so over this guy. Um, he, Come uh, on, we really got a good thing going. <laughs> he leads you outside. It is a very similar scene to. Um, a few days ago, when you first approached the temple and they got Caragor up on stage uh, and Garthus was making his speech, there were a few people gathered around um, and some of the priests, now you among them, on the other side, they open the gates to the courtyard and for the first time you were brought here, you step out of the temple of Rasmir. Um, a couple of priests are nearby you um, and a couple of others flank uh, Xanthar as he steps up onto the, um, up onto the platform. Go keep people's attention, all right? Hey, people, all of you cats standing out here, you should be following the Church of Rasmir. He's not quite Angarthus, but he's, you know, he's definitely got something. He's got presence. Uh, so people start listening to him as he starts making his speech. Uh, and one of the uh, priests who you uh, realize is uh, Carlisle. Um, waves for you to follow him around the edges you see uh, you see he is going around the edge he's starting to talk to people and he's starting to think so some of the crowd are paying attention but some of them aren't particularly looking around um, go ahead and give me some perception checks another natural one 19 strong I know Good day so I've got 7 You're... 7 alright 28 Fulton, 19. A 19, a 28. 24 for Velda. 24. Natural 20 and for natural. Oh. So, so Everyone except for Fulton and Bubba. Yeah. Fulton just misses out on it. Um, you notice that there are priests moving among the crowd with collection plates, 
but more importantly you notice that some of the priests are taking advantage of the distractions um, to slip purses out of people's belts and to uh, pickpocket people um, you get the feeling that is what your distraction is supposed to do is to draw focus from some of the market so that they can uh, they can pickpocket them who, what would you like to do who has seen that who has seen the pickpocketing sorry so uh, um, that is Karagor Velda and Shania have all seen that I well for mm. start off I think the distraction goes I don't know why but Karagor is inspired to be like I saw my Razmir <laughs> shining hard as Razmir could <laughs> what could I do uh, Baba walks up to like a couple of people that are oh, fuck I really thought he was going to jump on that <laughs> <laughs> I left that open. I a I couple of people that are chatting right yeah and I go and when I get excited my little Naraya girl she says oh Bubba just you shut your mouth she oh. says shh <laughs> <laughs> Colin finger gunned himself. Just yeah. Colin did just finger gunned himself. I was very himself. proud of that, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. I don't, want to, I don't want to deviate too much, but that is a massively underrated Bowie song. That's Channing amazing, Earl. that song. Channing Earl's a banger. Yeah. All right. So you're starting... You begin doing some singing. Whilst um, I'm doing that... Yeah. Uh, sort of singing with Bubba a little bit. Uh, having noticed the pickpocketing going on... Yes. Can I position myself towards the pickpocketer the nearest pickpocketer to me mm. and accidentally bump into him as he makes uh, an attempted lift. You definitely can do that. So, um, I would like either... Uh, I would like either a... You can use perform or diplomacy um, to try and uh, to try and pull some uh, attention. Um, okay. Diplomacy. Oh. It's 11. It's an 11. Okay, people aren't super into you. Give me a thievery check, though, to try and surreptitiously bump into the guy. Yeah, 28. A 28, nice. that's a success. Okay, you manage to uh, bump into the guy, and he drops the purse that he was carrying uh, and looks around um, and then has to turn his back as the person he just pinched it from kind of looks behind him, sees it, and goes, oh, and picks it up as if they'd forgotten it. My apologies, brother. I, I believe I'm still addressing the pickpocket. Mm. I believe you've dropped something. My apologies. Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't want you missing this purse that you've left on the floor, brother. The, uh, the fellow brother of Razma. The, he kind of waves his hands at you, shaking his head um, as he backs away from it. Uh, the uh, the man who picked it up goes, "No, nah, this is this is my purse." But uh, oh, uh, you're not trying to steal from the Church of Razma, are you? But brother, here it must be a gift that he's delivered to the poor. Brother, what is your name so we can sing your names for, from the from the ramparts? Okay. I address him and put a hand on his shoulder. You start, uh, people start crowding around uh, and be like, what? what's going on? What's happening here? Brother here has made a donation to this man, and I point to the, 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 the victim of the crime. This man has received a gift from the Temple of Razmir right now, right in hard cash. We've <laughs> upgraded from bread. No, no, this is, this, is my, this is my purse. I just dropped my... This, I, it's, it's, I recognise it. Well, I mean, it clearly came from this brother here, and I've, I've still got a hold of the, the, the priest with the pickpocket. Is somebody... You saying... Wait, are the, the priest stealing from us? No, the priest uh -oh. just gave to you, brother. What is your name? My, na my name's Timerson. Brother Timerson. You would just received a gift from the mighty Razmir himself. What? You should be grateful, shouldn't he? What are you trying Brother to pull? What is, what is this? Uh, going to make a... Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a some fake deception news. check. You know, trying, to, <laughs> trying to spread fake some news. lies. 12. A 12. Um, the, uh, the, the priest shakes his... Uh, look, it, it must be. It must be some. It's just a misunderstanding. I think I just bumped into you. Is all it was. It's nothing to. I didn't touch your plate. We don't. We, uh, I. I wasn't a gift from us, but we have many gifts. Of course, we give you. We, we, we'll be giving out bread very soon. Do not. He's just an initiate. Do not worry about this one. The crowd kind of start to look agitated. What would the rest of you like to do while all this is going on? Well, I. I, mean, I kind of wanted to do something along the same lines. Okay. That the, where whoever it was that I saw, hmm. I was gonna grab his. Uh, his, uh, whoever it is, grab their arm and gently whisper in their ear, uh, you know, um, uh, does this belong to you? 
Okay. Uh, okay, so that is going to be an athletics check to grab him. Or, or, yeah, go ahead, do an athletics check to try and grab him um, before he can slip the money away. Okay, so 21. 21, that'll do it. You grab a, um, you grab one of the um, priest's wrists, pull them away, he goes, and you whisper in his ear. Um, they turn to you. What do you think you're doing? Get off me! Who told you to take money from the people of the crowd? This is what we do. This is where we. This is where some of our money comes from. Just do as you're told. Says who? Says me. Says the people who are better than you. Now, no. Who told place. you? Give me a name. I put my hand around his throat. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, it starts. Trisha starts breaking down. Uh, so the priests. The priests are fighting each other. Look at that. Uh, yeah, athletics check to try and grapple him. Uh, this time it's 22. 22, <laughs> yeah, you have him by the throat. Um, there is uh, this, you're now starting to pull um, focus, not just from the people immediately around you, but from the main crowd. You can mm. see some of the priests up on the platform are looking over uh, at what you're going. at uh, sort of a, a hush but frenetic conversation between uh, Danny Carragher and the priest he's with. And uh, Sister Naraya choking one of the other priests in front of the crowd. Um, any other reactions from the rest of you? Or are you trying to keep your heads down? Uh, Velda's just sort of looking on uh, to see if anyone needs help or anything like that. But he's sure. staying in the vicinity, okay. but just holding back for the moment. But uh, Three of you see uh, members of the City Watch approaching, um, pushing their way through the crowd. Um, obvious that there's been some kind of a scuffle. Um, as it gets, as they get close to you, um, you recognise Bubba, the woman that you saw before, leading mm-hmm. a couple of guards with her. Um, she flashes her City Watch badge uh, at everyone and says, City Watch, what's going on here? I uh, want to subtly just sort of whisper this into uh, probably Karagor's ear, that, that that's the woman that I told him about earlier. The, uh, the, uh, the Watch people come out and pull you and the other priest apart. Um, they look. Um, she looks completely baffled at the fact that there are two priests fighting each other, uh, rather than anyone else. What? What happened? There must be some kind of uh, mistake here. Uh, I believe that uh, I saw the brother over here. Is it a brother? Yeah. Yeah. I believe that I saw the brother over here doing something very much against the sorts of Rasmia. Uh, am I in earshot of that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sister Nariah, uh you might have been misconstrued. I believe that our brothers are, in fact, giving gifts to the crowd. Gifts of coin. Is that not right, brother? I look at mine. Look at my guy. Yes. So kind. So kind, brother. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Velda starts That's applauding. so kind. Oh, well done. You well are done. the That's kindest, lovely. brother. Brother. Yes. Nice one, brother. Mia is giving gifts. The whole crowd. Nice one, brother. Nice one, brother. Nice one, brother. Nice one, brother. (laughs) Nice one, brother. The the watch commander looks at uh, between all of you. There's nothing to... uh, No charges to answer here. Everyone go about your business. There's nothing to see here. Uh, And starts dispersing the crowd. Uh, You hear um, up on the platform, you hear Xanathar being like... "Uh, uh, that, that, that that's all we've got time for today. Uh, everyone, go about your business. Just as just as the the, the city watch lady walks away, mm. there is one more charge to answer, sister. She stops and turns. Uh, yes, sister, won't you join us? You not a uh, a noble and adherent to the ways of Razmir, those who are giving to your city and helping increase the peace. Yeah, don't fake it, baby. Lay the real thing on me. <laughs> <laughs> helping. <laughs> I'm on duty. Leave me alone. I don't know who you, any of you are. The, the city watch turns its back on Razmir. Is that what's happening? She uh, walks over to one of the grey-robed priests, the one that um, that Shania was grabbing by the neck, uh, and just pulls him aside uh, and whispers in his ear. Uh, give me a perception check if you want to try and overhear over all the crowd news. All of us, or? Uh, yeah, you're all standing there. 24. 21. 24. 
Shania gets it. Velva, Velda gets it. So I'm not doing okay. it. Okay. 18. 18. Okay, so Shania and Velda, uh, you hear the uh, you hear her whisper, Get your acolytes under control now! Uh, and she shoves him back uh, and then turns... Uh, we're moving out. Waves uh, the the, uh, the guards, and they uh, they move they move away from the crowd. Um, the uh, the priest who you were grabbing goes, get back inside at once. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that all of the uh, heralds will love to hear about your your deeds this evening. They um, they all usher you back in through the gates, uh, and the gates are pulled closed. Uh, the uh, the priest and Xanathar go off together uh, for a little bit of a talk. Um, Xanathar comes back over and goes, "What happened out there?" This priest over here, um, obviously, uh, <clears throat> yeah, um, showing you who, who it was. Th- uh, this this priest over here was stealing from the people uh, of the town. This surely is not the way. Brother Xanathar, I think it's just a, 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 must a misconception. I believe we saw priests giving coin to the crowd. That's at least that's what I saw. That's what I saw. Yeah. It seems you're mistaken, Sister Naraya. It seems you're seeing things that aren't there. Oh. Maybe you need to think about the things you think you're seeing before they get you in trouble. I see. Thank you for uh, teaching me the ways of uh, Razmir. Maybe you should spend some time remembering the tenets of Razmir. That gold is a gift for the followers of Razmir. It is a weapon when used by his enemies to bring down his glory. And that those above you, those further up the steps, speak with the voice of Razmir itself. So next time a priest tells you to do something, you should do it. You understand me? I think I understand you perfectly well. Good. Zadathar, away. He turns and walks <laughs> up. <laughs> nice. um, so you are... Uh, uh, you don't have too much time to kind of stand around and, uh, and contemplate this uh, because it is... Uh, uh, the dinner bell sounds and you have to sort of head downstairs and get some food just on the way there the crowd fully dispersed yeah they're all gone yeah they're the crowd of uh, okay. so you're you're back in the temple now gates okay. are shut um, you are able to kind of quietly talk to each other as you make your way down to get food or sort of while you're going into the kitchen and getting your getting your uh, soup just before uh, David Bowie goes away yeah <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna speak to him quickly Ah, uh, um, brother. Brother Fulton. Yes. Um, I, uh, I've got something for Razmir. Um, I pull out a pouch, uh, my coin pouch, and I've taken out some of my own gold pieces, and inside is five gold pieces. Where did you get the coin pouch? Oh, yeah, you've got some, you found some in the snake pit, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I've got two gold pieces. Oh, uh, yeah, nice. I'll just give him two gold yeah. pieces and the okay. 18 silver pieces that were, I found. He takes it and looks at it. Excellent work, Brother Fulton. It seems that you're, not all of your group are completely hopeless. You'll go far in here. Trust me, I'm looking out for you. Thank you, brother. That, uh, I know that uh, that Engarthus is... Uh, Taking a shine to your friend Danny Carragher, but uh, I'm turning into Matthew Berry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wondering when the lies are going to cross. <laughs> My name is Brother Toast. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you, Clem Fandango. <laughs> but I want you to know you're my guy. Thank you, brother. Just out of character, did um, did Fulton notice in the transition of those coins if they were? Razmir coins or not? Uh, they were not. No, they were Tamaran currency. Shit. Um, Xanathar, away! Again! He turns and walks away again. Um, and you make your way <laughs> down to get some food. Um, after food, you have your evening prayers. Uh, and then you're back, heading back for uh, transcription duties again. 
uh, as you settle in um, as you settle in to do some writing uh, you've got a couple of minutes while you're um, doing some writing um, if you uh, while uh, they go to get some more books for you where you're able to talk freely uh, if you would like to otherwise um, you can um, wait can Karagor do a perception check to see if you know before in the prisons when we were definitely being listened to yeah. I just want to the walls are mm-hmm. they hollow in any places is there any listening places is there like a, sure. a little peephole in the yeah. wall go ahead with an give eye. me a perception an image of a person looking in a painting and the eyes are just moving 17 uh, a 17 you you know there are people outside the door in this room because that goes out into the main mm-hmm. antechamber um, where um, you know there will be some guards out there so they could feasibly listen at the door but if you talked in low voices you don't think so uh, but you can't f- you don't find any evidence of like spy holes or anything in the room okay Caragor yeah after a second of just <clears throat> putting his cheek to various parts of the walls and you could, seeing if he could detect a breeze just comes back to the, with you guys um, look now uh I don't know about you chaps, but uh, I'm getting bored with all this shit. Uh, like, how long are we going to stay so here? I, I, I can tell it's you It's only now, been two I'm, days. I'm, I am struggling now to, I've, to I've, hold myself. Uh, to they were We need to find some, some, some things that we can take back to someone soon, because otherwise I'm, uh, I, it's, something's going to happen. I don't I know, just I'm want, getting I just, into this writing thing. <laughs> Yes, I think good. You. Okay, Actually, glad, you know happy for you. Do you know, I tell you what, Bubba, I promise you, when we get out of here, I'll find some interesting books and we'll carry on learning on your writing Sick. and things. Yeah, it's right, very nice good. Because this book, I can tell you, is shit. To be fair, though, like, can, can we just like, clarify what we're doing now? Because, yeah, I think you're right. Like, we need, do need to move on, I think. We I all say in, in, in low voices. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm obviously talking uh, in. Wait. Well, we, we need to open a few doors. And then. Do we know of an obvious way out apart from the way that we just came out? We look, need to look, leave quick sharp. We haven't we have an exit route. We haven't gone to the second floor and we haven't looked in past where the uh, cells are either. Or where that snake pit was. We, we have no way to, to get to these places. They are locked and guarded. We do. Uh, wink, wink. I, I also say wink, wink. What? Ke- 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 why, why, why are you what? saying wink wink <laughs> 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 I thought that was a thing what, what do you mean we have a way to get through certain doors wink 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 you, wink. Have, a, you have a way thief thief how do we get through the door you th- we have a, I've got the keys I've got the keys alright oh, no, you <laughs> got the keys fuck it why do you, you say, say that, that? Keys. you oh, sh- listening to you us man. So, you are so Listen fucking you are so fucking good oh my fucking god you're so, <laughs> there's a fire in Shania's eyes right now wow. if she if she hadn't been assaulted only a day or so ago there'd be a fire in her loins she's very happy yeah. You, you're you fucking you fucking beast of a man. Fuck yes. Well, let's go. <laughs> I want to I want to address it. Like something we haven't brought up is just how frightening Shania looks in this mask. Yeah. Yeah. It's something we don't talk about a lot. But elves in elves in Galarian don't have pupils. No. Their eyes are just one color. So our Shania's eyes are just pure red. So when you look through <laughs> into this sort of blank iron mask, there's just these two red <laughs> eyes just staring wildly <laughs> out of it. Um. So after, uh, as just as you're talking this, the the door opens, um, and Engarthus steps in. Um, he says, "I'm sorry to uh, interrupt your uh, discussions, but uh, Sister Naraya, I wondered if you uh, might walk with me a while." Always, yeah. Come, there's something I. Uh, I've been meaning to discuss with you about what happened yesterday. Okay. Just as Naraya goes, Danny Carragher puts a hand on her shoulder and goes, Go with the blessing and the peace of Razmir, sister. Thank you. Thank you, brother Danny. I will. So, Engarthus leads you out of the meeting room uh, and through the worship hall uh, where he ri- uh, to and to the steps. And this- I'm granting you permission to ascend the steps, Sister Naraya. But don't let this be confused with permission always. I'm here now, and so you may come up with me. But it does not mean that you may ascend again. Thank you. Thank you. He leads you up the stairs, uh, past the great mask of Razmir, and around what you see now is like sort of a land, a balcony above um, the, uh, the worship hall. 
uh, and up to an enormous carved wooden door which has the mask of Rasmir upon it and it has carvings of people on their knees in front of it showering gold um, before uh, in front of uh, him there um, uh, you see the two guards uh, that have stood there as he approaches it he takes a silver key um, which is on a chain around his neck out from his robes uh, and inserts it into the the door key he turns it opens the door um, and leads you into a large chamber where there are uh, five doors coming off it it's different doors this is very well decorated up here uh, clearly this is where the money goes in, in the temple in the center of the room there is a plinth standing on the plinth is a pile or a pile of masks of rasmaran that have been arranged and stacked up to form a human shape so it's lots and lots of masks that have been sort of uh, stuck together to form like a statue. Um, as it enter the room, as you enter the room, the um, the statue rumbles slightly, uh, and a voice calls out, "What are the true gods?" Um, and and Garthus replies, "Only those that which you can hold in your hand." And the room goes quiet. Uh, he leads. He closes the door behind him and locks it, and then leads you to one of the side rooms, which he unlocks with a separate key, uh, and takes you in. the uh, The room inside is an immaculately deck, immaculately clear chamber. Uh, there is a wooden writing desk. There are some bookshelves. Um, there, um, there. You can see there is a bed in the corner. Uh, everything in here is just precise you can tell he if this is his chamber he is somebody who thinks everything has a place everything goes somewhere um on the desk um there is a screwed up piece of paper uh which he picks up has another look at rolls his eyes and then uh tosses on the floor next to the desk um he then um he then walks over to one of the shelves where there is an ornate looking dagger in a sheath which he takes from the shelf and places down. His Sister Naraya, you you killed that boy yesterday. I wanted to ask why. See uh the boy he He tried to take uh advantage of his situation and uh, I was not willing to let him do so hmm. you know sister Naraya that uh, I have always admired your people your people understand strength they understand fear as it can be used my people are very different from that I come from the Isle of General Murray in the, in the impossible kingdoms uh, we are a people beholden to the jinn beholden to family values we're taught to respect those who are above us and my father was like that he uh, he pulls his mask back uh, and you can see that he is a uh, he has a, a sort of olive skin uh, and dark brown hair uh, and he has a scar on one cheek There's, my father gave me this scar. He gave worse than that to my mother. He understood fear, Sister Naraya. He understood how to control people with fear. But he also underestimated me. And he takes the dagger that he has on the side, this beautiful jeweled thing, and he draws it slightly. And you can see that the blade is crusted with dark blood. And that was when I was a different person. That was before I found Rasmir. But it doesn't change anything. He hurt my mother. And so I hurt him. And so I understand where you come from on this. You have to understand that the Church of Rasmir protects those within it. And when that boy placed his hands on you in that way, he ceased to become a part of that church. He was an enemy of the faith. And you did absolutely right by ending his miserable life. And if it had been found out, that I would have done the same. I've called you here, Sister Naraya, because I want you to understand. I want you to know that I understand what you did. And I want you to know that there are no lengths 
that I will not go to to protect people I care about. I'm sure you know the same. I appreciate your candor. This is most unexpected to find out. Of course, everything that you say uh, is uh, uh, much appreciated. I must, of course, also let you know that it is impossible for you to know exactly what it was that I felt. You say that you have uh, knowledge of the same things. Yeah, but no. Hmm. Perhaps not. Perhaps there are things about you, Sister Naraya, that I don't understand yet. But I will, in time. You and your friends. Don't worry. I get to understand everybody pretty well after a while here. Uh, before you go, something valuable went missing yesterday. You don't know anything about that, do you? Something valuable? Hmm. Krant was uh, foolish. He had something that he shouldn't have been in possession of. And he managed to lose it. He's a fool, don't you think? Krant? I find it extremely hard to respect this man. Hmm. Well, uh, I just want you to know that uh, if a valuable thing that went missing were to find its way back into my possession... The church would be very glad about that. Some of you are doing very well for yourselves. I think in another day or so we'll be able to return your items to you. Maybe even some of you will make it up this, to the second step. But, uh... Some of you are, uh... Causing scenes. I heard about what happened out there in the street. I hope we're not going to have any more... Misunderstandings. No, of course not. He uh, pulls his mask down and chuckles and then pats you on the shoulder. Of course not, Sister Naraya. Come on, let's get you back to your friends. He opens the door uh, and leads you back past the statue, um, back through the doors, which he locks again behind him, uh, and back down the stairs. Uh, he nods to you and uh, turns, uh, turns, goes up a little way up the stairs and turns back and says, I enjoyed our chat, Sister Naraya. As did I, brother. Again, I thank you very much for your openness. All hail the living God. All hail the living God. He turns and goes back up the stairs and it allows you to return to the others uh, where they are just finishing. I won't make you roll for it this time because you're kind of getting better at it where they're finishing their transcription duties uh, and you're... Um, uh, and you're, you then head downstairs. So it is night time, um, but uh, you are, have a bit of time. So if you do too much extra now, you get the feeling they deliberately fill your days to try and keep you tired. Um, so you can go and do stuff, but it is going to result in you being fatigued tomorrow uh, if you want to try and do too much more. Uh, am I right in thinking that if uh, me and Bubba do something, we'll become exhausted tomorrow? Uh, there's no exhausted condition, um, but okay. I would say your fatigue condition, will, will uh, we'll call it fatigue two, so you'll have a minus right. two to those tomorrow. Fatigue two. This time, yes, it's the first time it's sleepy. <laughs> yeah, uh, Bubba just wants to get a bit. Yeah, okay. Vel- Velda's tired. It's been a long day. But you have a corner, a quiet corner of the, uh, um, the bunk room, so you are able to talk. Velda, Velda here. takes up his uh, complaining again. Like I'm really getting sick of this place. What's what's the plan? I I just I I, I hate um, it here. Just can I, can I just have one quick moment? Yeah. Um, uh, Dan, the, fr- um, yes. the phrase, the phrase that he used mm-hmm. when we went up there, um, uh, I wanted to remember it, but then we got into a scene. Okay. <laughs> I tell um, you what, give me a wisdom check. Okay. All right. Thanks. That's, um, I wrote it down, but it's cheaty. <laughs> <laughs> and if you get it right, I'll let James tell you. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is 18. Go on then. What was it? Uh, he said, only those that you can hold in your hand. Is only it. only those that you can hold in your hand. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Only those cool. you can hold in your hand. Okay. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Important. Thank you very much. Only That's okay. all right. I, yeah. All right. Sorry. Um, carry right, on. Right. So, um, but first of all, I presume Shall I relays all of you what you just had upstairs. Yeah, like, stuff I like. explain everything, look, um, look, and what's, what's, also um, you know, so, I think if I hadn't, if she hadn't just found out 
that uh, Kerrigal had the keys that might have gone a slightly different way <laughs> <laughs> literally that saved everything um, right. so anyway yes Look, I, I, I'm really getting tired of this what's the plan what's the I end game one, here one more day we can get our stuff back well we've got our stuff back no we've got some of our no, weapons the other stuff well, we've got, like, got the coin and stuff like that they took them off us at the beginning oh yes so we have to wait for that we've oh. hidden the things in the uh, in the handy haversack no, that, the that, that was the weapons. That yeah. was the weapons. The weapons yes. in there. They are in the kitchen. But all our other stuff, all our personal stuff, yes. they yes. so behind the cupboard. But, but no, no, remember, because they, they drugged us and we fell asleep and then we woke up and they, we were just in these hey. robes. And, uh, but, but, but we got the weapons. No, look, all right, so we'll get the stuff back. Yeah. And then what? Do we just do we just burn this place to the ground? Do we just escape quietly? What do we do? No, we need we need more evidence. We need to go on a little yeah. tour. We need, we need to you make use of those keys. We, okay, and then maybe give them back. Could when we? when Ingarthus took you up to the second floor before yeah. you got into the room of the mask golem, was there a door that he went through? Uh, yes. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. Was it? Yeah. Did he open it with a key with his hand? Yeah, it was, it was a spell. It was a key with a key that he had. Yeah. But mm. listen, right. I hope we've got the similar key. Wait, no, hang on. Uh, what robes does uh, Krant wear? Krant wears a grey robe, and Ingarthus wears black. We won't yes. be able to get up there with, might, a, with, with the same key. Well, look, look. Didn't, it's, it's didn't you say to something? About um, can I see the keys? There you go. Show me the keys. Are any of them silver? Uh, no, they just look like keys. No, you see, because he said it was a silver key on a chain. That's okay. that's a special key. But didn't you say something about he he oh. wanted some something like good back? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think I he's think referring he to the, the keys. He's referring to the keys. I don't know. I think he means the wine. The wine. I, what? Yeah, he's what? not supposed to have the wine, I and he gave it away. I was given that. I, I no, won that. You, and yeah, the I know, but if you gave it back, it's good. It's all on, on, blood. It's a really good like bit of wine, though. If we give it back, that's going to put us in favour. Might be able to get something else out of it. It's Fuck them. them. It's definitely no, the look, keys. I think I it's, think it's the keys. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely the keys. It's the keys. Uh, and, and and I don't want any favour with them. I know that you've been doing very good. You've been doing, like you know everyone's been very good. Oh, I hate the them. I want out. I I can't stand it here. It's awful. I mean I'm Velda, of the we've same only feeling got as you. I think we can. We've only got a hold on for a little bit. I know, but I. Come on, I, th- I think we can get enough. We can do this uh, together. Enough information, gather enough information with these keys tonight, um, and then we can. Not tonight, but we, we need an escape plan. This is the problem. No, yeah, we don't uh, know how we're getting out. We don't know how to fucking. We don't know how we're getting out. We need to wait at least another day. Well, All right, secure ourselves, get our stuff back. Who's got the gold back? Nah, no, no, exactly. nobody. Nobody. Exactly. nobody exactly. No, 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 you're quite right. Uh, get our stuff back tomorrow. If it is tomorrow, as long as no one fucks anything up, keep our head down for another day. In that tomorrow's day, we try and find an easy escape route. Okay, a plan escape route, right? And then, so we know on the that'll be the fourth day that we go around to do a little tour, see what else we can get, and then bark it quick. That's the plan. Yeah. Okay. So we do. So what? We 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 get sent out on another market run, and then we run. No, we. Well, I mean that'll be easy. But if not, then what we need to do is gather all the stuff we found in the snake pit. Yeah. Uh, anything else we can get from Krant's office with these keys. Yeah. And then any other door we can open without triggering off another bloody trap or that bloody golem. Okay. Probably. Yeah. Uh, and then on top of what we already know, sh- hopefully will be enough. But we need to wait another day. Right. I'm clear yeah. on everything except barking it. What? Bark, you know, what barking it. it. But no. Oi, bark Running it, mate. away. Bark it? Yeah, like, up Leave it. him. Kick it. Yeah. Leg it. How on earth is that, like how bounce, that related to running away? Oh, it's a horror thing, mate. It's a horror thing. <laughs> but, admit, <laughs> we need to fly. But not like a bird. Yeah. Well, you'd only fly away. Or bounce like a fucking bird. Do you know where your bitch. home is? Do you know? Uh, that's yeah. Just wondering. You do? Oh, good, well, good. I just want to check. So. so. <laughs> Those Not Nelly to cut off this beautiful <laughs> Nelly 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 back. That's going back a long way. <laughs> you go. Show the uh, you go to bed. Um, you get some rest. You get up the next day. You have your breakfast. You do your prayers. You do some cleaning. You do some more prayers. Uh, and then uh, at the end of prayers, Krant comes to find you. And says, "Oh, Krant, there's something going on here. I, I don't know what it is, but feel like you're responsible for it somehow." And, Anyway, decided on a special uh, task for you all today. You're going to come and help me uh, with a little problem that we're having. We're going to find out whether you really are members of this cult or this, this church or not. Sounds uh, good, brother. Uh, did you call it a cult? Shut up! <laughs> the, uh, Carlisle, <laughs> Bishop, you're coming with me. Uh, he leads you, along with Carlisle and Bishop, out of the uh, the temple again they open the, the gates but this time there is no crowd he leads you through the streets uh, to uh, 
a little street just uh, a couple of blocks away from where the temple is. Um, people give you a bit of a wide berth. Every now and then people kind of nod uh, and sort of say, oh, hail the living God. Um, occasionally Carlisle or Bishop will throw some coppers uh, to people as they pass. Krant um, stops at the end of his string and says, There's a very big problem with crime in this part of the city. Uh, There used to be a real problem with it. A lot of the businesses had a a lot of run-ins with criminals. Uh, And the church has made it uh, its effort, its business, to stop that, to stop the crimes from happening. People are very grateful for this. And so a lot of the uh, the shops, they all pay a tithe to Razmir for the glory of the living God that helps us to do our good works means that we can afford to give money to the poor, give bread to the poor. Now there's this baker who runs the bakery down the end of the street there. Now he is late paying his tithe. I want you all to go in there, get the hundred silver pieces that he owes us, and I want you to wreck that shop as a warning to any other business that doesn't want to help us to help this city. Is that clear? It's yes, brother. Clear as Razmir's words himself, yes. brother Krant. Um, yeah. I would only yes. ask one thing, if mm. I may. What? That is, if we wreck a shop, then people will be less likely to pay their tithe, will they not? No, because they'll know what happens if they don't. I'll see. I was just checking the Razmir's tenants to check where we uh, show Razmir's benevolence through fear. Which one is that? Is that six or seven? That's that's the one where you do what I say, Danny Camraga. Danny? Camraga. Danny Camraga. David Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the arc. That's, no. what, that's where you end up. You either He's, die as yeah. Danny Carragher or you live long enough so you see yourself become Danny Cameron. <laughs> He's on step 27. <laughs> Bishop and uh, Sister Bishop and Brother Carlisle and I will be outside. I expect, I expect to hear uh, some serious destruction going on in there. It's important we send a message, otherwise we can't get our work done. <clears throat> that clear? Yes, brother. Yes, yeah, brother. Okay. Good. Nice one, brother. Nice one, brother. Nice one, brother. Nice one, nice brother. One, brother. Nice, nice one, brother. 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 Someone walks past. Nice one, brother. He leads you to the. Uh, he leads you over to a, uh, a bakery. Uh, What's the bet? It's going to be. Dan's NPC is going to be an old sweet man. <laughs> well, whichever way, I mean, this is bracket. This is yeah. bracket here, I mean, it? it's be a lovely yeah, old lady. Change, right? wouldn't yeah. Yeah. Hello, would you like some free bread? <laughs> oh, I can't pay that. You know, he's got a little tiny tin come hobbling out with a loaf of. Oh <laughs> God! So the bakery is called the Harvest Hearth. He leads you up to the uh, the door. Um, and the, Don't come back without the money and some good news. And they turn their backs and uh, usher the uh, usher any customers away. Wait until the bakery is empty, and then he opens the door. Uh, you all walk in. Uh, there is a kindly-looking, chubby man uh, sitting behind the counter. Uh, he looks up from his rolls and says, "Oh, how can I help you?" That's where we leave it for tonight. Oh, oh. shaking down a baker, chubby rolls, <laughs> <laughs> baker shaking, and his jazz orchestra. Forgive the interruption, but I believe this requires your attention. If you ever believed Captain America was on the U.S. Olympic soccer team. If you ever thought that the Winter Soldier was that brace yourselves guy on the internet. And if you ever wondered just what would a raccoon do with a machine gun. Then don't let another week pass you by without tuning into Mighty Marvel Geeks. Mighty Marvel Geeks is your show about all things Marvel. With news, rumors, commentary, and interviews. As well as our weekly recommendations 
recommendations on what to pick up on New Comic Book Day. Official consulting hours are between 8 and 5 every other Thursday. That's Mighty Marvel Geeks on WeebyGeeks.net, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and anywhere else you listen to podcasts.